be okay if we could uh, put up the declaration first, have somebody read it aloud, and then we'll read the four purposes after that. And then we'll, that'll be a platform that we can launch ahead. So. It's, it's in the program John, as well. John, could you read the declaration? Okay, this is the Narden Declaration. Having respect for the diversity and freedom of the various theosophical streams, we will endeavor to act as a beacon of light for bringing theosophy in accordance, in accordance with the teachings of H.P. Blavatsky and her masters to the world. in an undogmatic manner and through harmonious cooperation, we will strengthen the theosophical movement for the benefit of humanity. That's better. In the spirit of unity and brotherhood, we endeavor to make theosophy a living power in the world. We commit ourselves through learning training, and cross-pollination to popularize and keep the teachings alive for future generations. Does anybody have any um, questions or anything, comments about the declaration itself that was created three years ago? If not, we'll um, read the four uh, pr principles, purposes. Thank you. Okay. The cross pollination word, and uh, we could consider, as you did with, on the. Can you go back? To the declaration. To the declaration. On the bottom, you had. Um, a, an asterisk explaining in accordance with, you might have another one that explains cross-pollination. Because people always ask, what does that mean? And cross-pollination is mentioned in the purposes, right? Well, we didn't get there yet. Yeah. I'm just but, saying in yeah. the, I'm just saying that that always comes up. What does okay. that mean? That's and a good point. I'm just so so. Let's since take a look you, what's in the purposes. Yeah. So I'm just yeah. suggesting you might we might want to consider defining that a little more, putting it in the asterisk. And, uh, the word. Yeah. Okay. Could we uh, read the purposes, Nancy? Would you mind reading reading the purposes? Okay. Okay. Uh, purposes, number one, to maintain the principles of the modern theosophical movement presented by HPB as a living power in the minds and hearts of humanity, encouraging explorations in the light of her teachings. Two, to foster mutual, meaningful intercommunication, understanding, and respect among the theosophical mainstreams stimulating thereby continuous spiritual unity. Three, to be a platform supporting and sponsoring the annual international conference of theosophical organizations. And four, to unite people in sharing the philosophy of theosophy, studying and further exploring religion, philosophy, and science from a theosophical perspective. Thank you. Does anybody have any questions about that? Carolyn? In your welcome the other day, you made clear that the conference is not just for those in theosophical organizations, but any students of theosophy. So I find that a little odd that you say you're sponsoring a conference of theosophical organizations, couldn't you add, and students of theosophy? Okay. Uh, another, another 
Another question is what is a what is our relation with breakaway movements such as Anthro Rudolf Steiner's Anthroposophy, Alice Bailey's uh, m movement, uh, movements that uh, that came out of Theosophy but that have developed their own belief system that is in, that is different from and goes beyond Theosophy. What is our relation with those movements? Got the question. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, yeah. We go back to Carolyn's uh, question, I think, and try to uh, understand um, what is uh, mentioned over there. Yeah. Well, th there is an, there is always an an, an coming back uh, question or discussion that what is ITC like to be, and we like to be an organization what help the other theosophical organizations working together and bringing out theosophy. For, in my point of view, that is not excluding individuals. If we are very honest, I think we have more individuals here together than organizations from, let's say, official point of view. So I think, but maybe we have to rephrase it or maybe uh, we need an, an old uh, footnote again to explain it a little bit more. Is, is that the idea what, you're, what you have in mind or so, Caroline, or not? No, sh 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 I'm speaking with that lady, please. That confuses it. We talked about this in Julian some years ago. Yeah. So, but I just want to make clear what you all said, that independent students of theosophy are welcome at this conference. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. all I'm trying to say. It's okay. not just yeah. for people yeah. who, yeah. it's really not yeah. for organizations, it's for yeah. students of theosophy. And not Alice Bailey or all the rest. That's no, 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 no. No, if you take the purpose number one, I think it is quite clear in which direction that we like to uh, cooperate and we like to work. Yeah, the modern, uh, what is it? The modern theosophical movement. So that is from, in my point of view, that is since uh, 1875. Yeah, if you take modern away, you can speak about the, the theosophical organizations in Alexandria, for instance. There was a time that there was also a group called Theosophists. Yeah, so but we have we really speaking about. Uh, the um, yeah, the start of HPB and bringing out that knowledge and that is what we like to work on and explore, etc. Yeah. So theosophy are independent. So that's a pretty big chunk. So I think we should make it clear that they're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I agree with Carolyn on that and. I have a little trouble with the word mainstreams because I'm not sure what that means. That some streams are main and some are tributaries or something. So <clears throat> it seems to me individuals and groups or some kind of language that is inclusive of any students or groups that are committed to um, HPB's teachings and are trying to spread it in the world. Because if you're more inclusive, you may get more people over time. But if you try to define it too much, and as the only three theosophical organizations, you probably will limit the growth of, the, of what we could do. So I'd really like to see some of those words, um, wordsmith a little bit more, to be more inclusive of individuals and groups, other groups, mm -hmm. that, are, that are mainstream, that are committed to HPB. Well, I, I want to react immediately on that, if possible. So I think the uh, irritation uh, uh, exists now because we did not read the first paragraph of the purposes, because there it is clearly said that ITC is committed to connect all theosophists, supporting them in their common cause 
in the light of the purposes of ITC, which are, and then it follows. So there it is very clearly stated that every theosophist is invited and it is inclusive for all of them. That's all. Yeah. It gets less inclusive as you begin to define it. Point taken. And there will be more. Take a look at if we need to do something with that. Yeah. Can, can we can we uh, can we move on? Because if not, then we have the next speaker up here, and we would like to get some input because you guys have been thinking during dinner about an almost impossible question, as I understand. Uh, if if we look at the purposes, and if we look at the Narden Declaration, and if we want to be a movement together to make sure that uh, the masters do not need to restart their work all over again. Then what does that mean for how we want to work together? What is the assignment that we want to take up on ourselves? And what we're looking for tonight is not the final answer, but just thoughts, maybe keywords of what should be in that Narden Declaration. Philadelphia, thank you very much. Just a thought, um, you know, the, the declaration uh, in, and, and the Narden Declaration and also the purposes, in my view, gives a very beautiful principle uh, attitude of all theosophical organizations to work together and to spread theosophy. But how do we do it? I mean, next year we are coming together in another country and what's the result? Now, what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to say is, I really want to spread theosophy. And if we are not able to inspire each other to spread theosophy, we are failing because we are getting older and we need a new generation. So I don't have the answer, but maybe you can talk about it in, uh, <laughs> to add it to the Nada Declaration to find some means concrete means how to spread theosophy. I'm thinking about an, an, you know, an, uh, a kind of uh, uh, action we can do together in the United States, in the Netherlands, in other countries to spread theosophy. Or to make a pamphlet about the issues of today. For instance, in the Netherlands, the, 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 the the question of uh, euthanasia is very uh, active, very, um, how do you say, a current question. Everybody's talking about it. I don't know here. So, can we do something together to spread theosophy, and especially in the light of new generations? How do we reach new generations? With respect of you all, but we are older <laughs> than most of the, the, uh, the people who live today. What is the language that we can uh, that we can use to speak to younger generations. That's very important, I think, and we should think more about that, how to spread theosophy, how to spread it in a practical way. Yeah? Thanks. Uh, there's two mics in the back. Any hands there? So can one mic come this way here, Joe? Oh, there's one over there in the back. Yep. Well, since you're uh, just looking for a few uh, comments and ideas, Great. Uh, I think uh, we need to create a, an attitude of universality, or as much as we can approach that. It's a, a number one. Uh, and number two, because you're interested in concrete action, um, I think we find, particularly in the study groups, um, a lot of unity and brotherhood, which we can't necessarily prearrange, but the study groups can be very inspiring, at least they have been for me the past two or three conferences. So I think those two things, a universal attitude and uh, studying together are not the only things, but I think a real core 
of what an ITC conference represents to me. So it's a good point. So there's some things we need to keep doing, basically. All right. And, and maybe in a sense we've been, we've been dancing together for a couple of years now and, and we would like the outside world to see some elements of that as well. So any more hands over here? Joe is next. To you, Jack. <laughs> well, I, actually, I have only a few key words. And the first one is cooperation based on trust. The second one is that we should focus on alleviation of the issues of humanity that really matter. That's uh, what, what Barnt was saying, uh, issues that play a big role in our societies. And the third word is confidence. We are able to make impact. We have a lot to offer to the world. That's it. Thank you. Um, I was thinking seriously about the question of how to spread theosophy. Um, and this, this answer may not be, may be indiscreet, let's call it that. But at the end of the day, if you really, truly want to spread theosophy, find the, the epicenters, the points of greatest suffering. And if you go there, it will be fully and utterly embraced, that which we will teach. Uh, trying to push theosophy to people like Soros is absolutely useless. Um, n not that I know him or anything like that, or Paris Hilton for that matter. But pushing theosophy in epicenters of greater suffering, like jails, like uh, um, other centers where people really, really find a need, drug addicts who are trying, looking for a way out, um, that is the places where they truly need theosophy. I do not know how to do it, but that is my two cents. Looking for ideas. Excellent. Thank you very much. Can we go over here? John? And this is my humble opinion, and I want it for my opinion to leave the independence out for just a moment. It makes it a whole lot simpler to talk about the three mainstreams, but what I'm going to say applies to the independence as well. In my opinion, the job of spreading theosophy is not the ITC's job, but it is the job of the, the organizations that already exist. And the ITC's job should be to encourage, to facilitate, to uh, help in any way. We are members of those organizations, so it's our job, not the ITC's job. All right, Nancy? What is our job? Could you repeat? Our, so? our job as members of the mainstreams or as independents is the spread of theosophy. The ITC, made up of individuals from those organizations, their, our job as ITC is to facilitate, to encourage, to support in any way possible, and we're doing that for ourselves. It's not an outside influence. We're working from the inside out. So we are giving an impulse to the mainstream yes. and the individuals. Impulse, support. We are those organizations. We are those independents. And that's the work we need to do. All right, thanks. We can go to Nancy. Um, the TS has a prison mentor program that was started by Dora Coons. Um, and this is something that's been really successful. Dora, when she was on her honeymoon, would actually go to prisons with her husband. And, and, but I loved what you said about taking it to where it is really needed. And the program, the program has been absolutely amazing. Um, I've been in it for about five years and to see the transformation. If, if somebody really wants to change, they have all the time in the world, they're doing time. So um, if they make the decision that they're gonna, you know, their life is not over, um, it's really just beginning. Um, you're doing your time for whatever crime was committed and 
it, it's a whole no, new life that can be started now. And um, they do correspondence courses and um, they have questions to answer and then we go through the answers and you know, we go back and forth. But you know, maybe some, that's something that could be done um, in other places. David Bruce runs it at um, the TS. So, so basically yeah. multiply the best practice that you already have and do it in other places. Yes. Use the yes. recipe yeah. and do it over and over again in different places. Yeah, learn from each other. Yes, yes. And, and just the other thing I was thinking about was um, that, you know, HPB says that, you know, you're just not a theosophist by name only. We've got to live theosophy, and then by living it, being an example, um, and then people will ask you, um, why are you so calm, and, you know, tell me about this, and, but if we just live it um, all the time, I think it could do a lot. And um, for, for reaching young people, that's, you know, it, it seems to be a problem, an issue, rather, in, in a lot of the lodges right now is, is, you know, a lot of us older people in our lodges are dying off, and we're not really attracting young people. Um, and I don't think, I mean, social media is really for us right now. Um, the, I think if we've got to, like, how do we reach them, younger people? That's, if anybody has any ideas on that. Well, it's a, it's a theme. It's something that's out there that we can think about, reaching younger people. So over here, and then we're going to go to April. And then yeah. we're going to go to the back. Uh, I just uh, just wanted to build on uh, John's point, um, and it's and maybe it's something that everybody already assumes, but at least in in this head, when I think about ITC, it's a place where we're coming to meet, to exchange, to be stimulated by ideas, but also going back out. It's for 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 my headset. It's not just going back to your lodge. It's about recreating the unity and the cooperation amongst TS, your Independence, ULT out there to then do the work, to bring those ideas together, to recreate this in terms of communication, sharing, building, planning together. Because otherwise we'll recreate what we've done over the last 140 years, separate and do it in our little corner, and where has it gotten us? So, so reconnect everywhere we go and yes. we live. Yes. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we go to the back. And then we go to April. Yeah, we've seen you. Um, just as a, um, someone approached me, and I don't remember who, and, and in, made the interesting uh, suggestion that since this is a Philadelphia uh, declaration, ultimately, would it be possible to include something from pain? And I hadn't really thought of it that way. But sometimes when you have a statement of principles, uh, aims that represent the organization, you can have a quote, a header quote at the top. And one conceivable place you could put something from pain would be something like uh, one of two quotes I can think of. One is, um, my country is the world and my religion is to do good. But there's also a second one that many people are enthralled with and it says, we have it in our power to begin the world over again. And that's a very interesting statement too. But both of them affirm Sorry, could something. you repeat that? Because Urban is typing yeah. as fast Bo as he both can. Both of them affirm something quite universal. Um, and it's a good tone, it kind of sends like a tone to a scale. But, um, so, my country is the world and my religion is to do good. Or, we have it in our power to begin the world over again. To begin the world over again. Yeah. Thank you. Interesting suggestion. Oh. We're going to go to April here. And then we're going to go to you. Yeah. 
like to pick up on John's comment about we're here to help each other. So when we go out, we go back, we're inspired uh, to do, and also ways to do it. So I'd like to suggest one way, and it's something Joanna and I talked about, and you can expand later too. So we, I think it would be fun to do a conference on best teaching practices in theosophy. Mm. And how we would do it, though, is that people would actually teach a class of which we would participate as students in the class and experience the method, the teaching method. And then um, after the, the, um, experience, the class, the uh, group could discuss what they learned from it. Then we could share it in a big group and begin um, a best practices sort of uh, approach to how can, and we can also take themes and think about like reaching young people, coming up with ways to do that, and, but always involving us in the process of the learning experience. Thank you. We're going to go yeah, to Kim. I think that it's important to not necessarily think only people who are visibly suffering um, will be reached by theosophy. Um, you know, certainly people in jails are suffering, but I think spiritually there are people starving all over the world who may physically seem to be just fine. So I think the idea that theosophy is incredibly crisply relevant for the moment, for every person, I think that should be included. Thank you. All right, Carolyn. Just to repeat the point I made a few days ago, or yesterday, I think we should have a state of commitment to developing the spiritual, mental, and moral, and maybe social potential in every human being, and that we should have um, uh, something about recognizing the diversity in human life, maybe the diversity in all of nature, but have something that shows that we recognize diversity, but we are inclusive. Uh, so we don't pay attention to, you know, we don't distinguish or, by religion or race or class or something like that. I think it's timely to express that commitment. We know it, but we need to make it clear as well to the outside world. That's a good point. Um, yep, Jonathan. Sorry. That we're committed to developing the spiritual, mental, moral, and social potential of every human being. You want to include animals, but I just keep it simple. <laughs> I just I wanted to make a, a an idea. I was wondering if there could be something in there about recognizing the genius of other organizations and certain independent groups that are not part of an organization, but they still get together and they have a study group. And that would be a way of cross-pollinating techniques or methodologies or philosophical approaches, but it seems like if we just um, tolerate each other, that's not very sustainable. But when we recognize the genius of each other, um, then not only do we learn a lot, but it seems something a lot more than sustainable. Excellent, thank you. Hank? A little bit uh, in line uh, with uh, what uh, uh, Jonathan said is uh, one of the, I think, uh, most difficult and most interesting things is to translate the three uh, propositions of the secret doctrine into keys to answer for the real, no, yeah, the, the questions of yesterday and, and, and tomorrow. So I think that would be for me very interesting when we have a kind of real tough problem and okay we have the three uh, propositions how do you come from this to real answers wise answers 
So, so that would be identifying a couple of tough questions and then writing a pamphlet together? Is that, that more or less what you're suggesting? Or? No, I think first in-depth study together. Yes. How do you proceed from the three propositions to, to answers which uh, ends really uh, uh, give keys and are consistent with uh, what you call long-term theosophy? Do you, do you have that, Erwin? Could you pass the mic yeah, to the gentleman in front okay. of you? Thank you. Yeah, in front of you. Yeah, thank you. Looking at all these very interesting ideas, it seems like some of them are what the organization should be doing, and some of them might be relevant to ITC. And so I think they need to be divided out eventually where ITC can facilitate and encourage and inspire but can't actually do those things itself and the things ITC should be doing. Yeah, that's a good point. We, we have to figure out how to do that, right? Um, we're going to go to the Johanna here and then we're going to go to the back. Flip over there, but, but first we're going to go to Johanna here. Yes, please. Yes, the whole preparation of the lectures of this conference uh, did me th uh, think about the following. It was quite hard to develop ideas as an answer to the question, talk about the function of brotherhood and so on. And all the time I was working on it, I th thought there must be people in the ULT and in Adyar uh, having done that same study. Why not exchanging? For we heard three lectures about the same subject and they were very good as lectures. But I would have liked to have a conversation about the specific things we had to say uh, here in the conference. And I looked in the Naiden Declaration and the purposes, but I don't think I want to change anything uh, because of I want that. What I would like to see developing is in our magazine, The Bee, that people ask, now we want to start in Holland a thing with prisoners. Do you have any experience at all. Now we want to write a pamphlet about euthanasia. Have you already done that in Adyar, in ULT, East Coast, West Coast, or whatever, that we keep in communication uh, on the subject we are busy about uh, in our own organizations. And I really would like that uh, developed a little bit more than it is now. Now we uh, speak during dinner very intensely about a subject. But I would like to do that next month as well and write that in the B for I am preparing something and who can help me? Something yes. like, a, like a catalog that you're looking for, that you're working on a certain subject, that you can look it up, who's been working on that before, and you no, can... No, not a catalog, a cry for help and communication, yes? Okay, so, so it's like, it would be like a, uh, what's that, a publishing board, something like that, that no. you could send a message out? In the B uh, column, uh -huh. uh, we are starting this, and we are liking to do that, and we are studying this. Who has already done that? Ah. For we are inventing things that ULT already does for years. Right. Yes? That is one step in before, and then maybe that can be something for the next conference, is that we are sitting together from the different uh, traditions and see, can we really make the same statement? Can we come to the same conclusion based on the modern theosophical movement. So that is quite an, 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 it will be a very good exchange. How do we understand, how can we motivate it on basis of the fundamental principles? Yeah. Yes, and that is uh, exchanging ideas as we already do. But I know that the ULT members have studied the voice of the silence 50 times in their lives. Yes, and 
in the voice of the silence about the guardian role, there is so much said into it. And you uh, have thought about it. And I don't know your thoughts, and I would like to know them. Yes, and that exchange about spiritual homeopathy, Richard. Yes, to know more about that. And I think that will uh, make all of us wiser because of our experience in all the groups that we share them with each other and not only taking a subject and look what everyone knows about it. Yes, everyone has his special speciality. Yes. And we find out more and more what they are. Absolutely. That's a very good point and we could can, actively ask for can help. Can we there. make a list of questions? How do you call that? A rubric? What is a rubric in English? Please, colleagues, help me. A column. Yes? Okay. All right. Response. Why aren't we mentioning the B? You know, using the B as a mode of communicating, sharing ideas, so we can bring your point into also uh, an affirmation of this magazine that ITC puts out. It's up there. Thank you. I think uh, one of the good things about this is it's a good way to mutually promote each other. And that's, I think that's important because I learn a lot about the other streams that I'm not familiar with. And um, so that, that's a good, a good thing to take away from this. But I also, there, there's a letter of the law and the spirit of the law, and we should try to focus on the spirit more. I think, uh, I think it doesn't matter what makes us different so much as... Uh, what we do have in common and what we share and what we have to offer humanity in terms of a message. Oh, in terms of a message, okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Yes, there, there the hand is again. I know I saw it. Um, I think it's a great idea that we come together and share our experiences and how we've addressed certain issues from various points of view. But I was also thinking of the unifying force of the ITC is um, we all agree on uh, the teachings, the principles of HPB, and as part of a conference, um, it might be interesting rather than have a lecture, you know, devoted to what representatives of the, each mainstream have to say, we could all have st a study circle where we all study the writings of HPB together because what the three streams uh, can bring to the table will be different and it'll, it'll be part of the group study. So I would really enjoy having the opportunity to take a passage from the secret doctrine or whatever, you know, ISIS. Because HPB addresses every issue that we're concerned with, and we could all study together, and that could also be an opportunity for people to share how their particular um, organization or not. Because ULT is an association, it's not an organization. How we approach it, the various approaches. All right, thank you. So the various approaches to a certain thing by starting to study from HPB. Oh, it's up there. All right. Um, no, no, no. Uh, you're going to get the mic in, but I would really like to hear some people we haven't heard yet. And some people just don't raise their hands, but we've seen in the study circle that sometimes they have really interesting things to say. So could you just give somebody the mic in the back? And you can, you can pass if you don't want to have it, or you can give it to your neighbor. <laughs> I really like everything that I'm hearing here, and I'm learning a lot. Thank you. That's great to hear. Thank you very much. Well, we go to the next row. That, that's fine. Well, we haven't heard from Latin America yet. I have a, 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 a question. Um, mm -hmm. Would it be appropriate, perhaps, to use the term the larger theosophical community at times? Um, because I wrote down to address the mutual concerns and needs of the larger theosophical community. Sounds interesting. Great. Thanks for the suggestion. 
Um, I'm sure we have. So there's Herb over here. And, and larger theosophical community? Ah, okay. I had this to, discuss the, to address the mutual concerns and needs of the larger yeah. theosophical community. That's what she said. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was essential. Dave? It's just a thought. Is there any room in this to think about the idea of um, theosophy entering the public arena with dialogue, with other types of thought? With other types of? You know, there, there's uh, a lot of groups and people in the world that have ideas how to make the world better. So, so rather than talking from our front porch, maybe going into those public arenas and not debate, but to present along with other ideas what theosophy has to say. So could Does that you, make any sense at all? Not enough for Erwin to write it down. I mean, he doesn't have a mic, but he wants to ask a question. Yeah, uh, Just to, to... A TED talk, right. Yeah. Do you mean that we have to do that together as... ITC, or what, what do you mean? It, it's just an, another avenue for the spread of theosophy that ITC might promote, and maybe various mainstreams might do that in their areas. I don't, don't you ever run into places where there's uh, discussion besides just, you know, with other, for, uh, with other forms of idea, so theosophy could bring a contrast to maybe what's being said. Other forms, other fora, and we could inspire the mainstreams and the individual theosophists to start using them. We could explore it, and then that's, that's what you're saying. I think so. Erwin <laughs> is, is lost, so you have to, you have to add something so Erwin can put it down, because otherwise, Dave, could you uh, give, give it one more try? Because Erwin is struggling to write something down that Um, but because it's, it's something that is done, but it's done quietly. It's, if you look online and you look at all of the conferences that are going on year-round on consciousness, on psychic phenomena, on healing, etc., what the intent is is to submit to present. And you present the theosophical ideas in a global forum so that they're being introduced to the world in another format. Yeah, um, you can do it from the point of view of science, psychiatry, cosmology, right. physics, because those conferences are going on all the time, and they ask for submissions. Yeah, and so Gene, Gene hit the nail visit, on the head here. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, yeah. It's, it's being done, but it's being done quietly. But if the uh, streams could be coming together to, like you say, prepare, and then take that presentation to those arenas, then theosophy gains a presence and a living life in that global world as really being applicable and meaningful. Yeah, actually one place uh, that this has been done is, uh, I think Susan mentioned it in her talk, the original World Parliament of Religions uh, in 1893, theosophy was represented there and from what I heard, it was a huge hit. <laughs> it drew a lot a lot of people who never knew about theosophy. They were coming just to hear various different ideas, so theosophy was in the arena, yeah. Sorry, I was just saying as an example, Helena gathered together speakers again for the World Parliament of Religions a year and a half ago, and so we were in uh, Utah, and, and that was a forum in which we presented. So, so again, it's just on a global format. We have time for one more, so this is the last opportunity. Oh yeah, great. Um, well, you know, all over the, probably all over the world, definitely in, in the United States, there's, uh, I mean, there's just fodder waiting to happen in every Masonic lodge. 
because every month they, these guys sometimes go crazy trying to come up with some kind of something of an education program for this month's meeting. And I get a call from time to time, I'm really not so active a Freemason, but in other, words, in other ways, I get calls, you know, can you do this, can you do this? So, for instance, even over the summer, I got a call from this, this group who, great guys, they were, they called themselves, uh, you know, something, something about Western esotericism, whatever that means. And they wanted something about Eastern esotericism. Ah. <laughs> and they thought, you know, so they called the lodge, and of course, our friends at the, you know, a friend of the lodge called me, hey, we got a Masonic group looking for us. So he said, well, either the Bhagavad Gita or Madame Blavatsky, would either, the, either of them work? And I'm thinking, yeah, I'll come up with something, you know. So I'll tell you what, it's a great service. You've got hungry minds. Um, you, you make an impact for guys who had no idea what they were in for, and it, it, can be, it can be a lot of fun. And I've found if we speak, you know, whether in a forum like that, but also to to friends or stretch, we find it so easy to talk to people now about reincarnation, karma, and the masters. It's very easy, and it opens doors, whereas, I don't know, years ago, if you talked about masters, maybe people would think you're crazy, but the concept of a perfected human being is a very easy concept to talk about with a lot of people, and like we said, it opened doors. So, that's one. Another is... Just could you summarize sure. it so Erwin can... Oh, can okay. No, I'm sorry. So, look for organizations in your community. There are organizations, the leaders of which are desperate for speakers, not just Freemasons. But Freemasons are everywhere, so start with them. And you'll get passed around, and you don't have to be a man. You don't have to be a man to give these talks. And we don't. Okay. You don't. And we got, we got one minute for the next one because okay. our speaker is here. We're okay. very happy that he's here. Okay, let, let, let me finish one thing, though. How does that go with the declaration? Oh, I don't know. I'm just answering a question. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Oh, how does that go for the... I thought we were talking about how to spread free, uh, th how to spread theosophy. Good, good. Ideas are welcome, and we'll, okay. we'll work Reach on Reach out to organizations in your community to give talks at. Okay, thank you very much. And, and if you have more ideas, there is going to be another harvest tomorrow. Right? So uh, write them down before you forget them because maybe there's some...